Hello, and this is the songs that should have been on the radio. They should have been on the radio. They should have been on the radio. They should have been on the radio. Ray, 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 Ray. 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 You said you wouldn't do this, Ray. Come on, let's have a seat and let's oh. try this again. Let's try this again. Oh my. Take, a, take a deep breath, Ray. Calm. It's okay. Oh, it, you know, we oh, can't damn. pick the it's... songs that are, that are played on the radio. That's, that's you know, we not our no job. Control. We got no control. So you just got to take it as it is. Okay, I don't know, guys. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. I don't know what happened. I lost. I, I, I was in the moment and then I just... <laughs> I don't know, but right. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> right, I know they, right, calm down. I know they should have been on the radio, they, and they're not, but you know, we can't control these things, okay? We just got to take it as it is. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry. All right, anyway. guys. So, uh, yeah. So, today we're talking about a band called Fight the Fight, The Other Side. We're going to see if this is a song that uh, is fit for a commercial uh, rock radio. Uh, since most of the uh, commercial rock radio, radio stations play usually classic rock songs. And if you do hear an, a new track from a, uh, it's usually a classic rock band artist more than likely uh, with the new track. Sometimes they'll play a new artist, but um, our band, but there needs to be more variety. So we'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, before that, though, let's go and discuss about uh, last month's video, Shopping for the Homeless Part 2, which I think went off great. Mm -hmm. um, did you guys have a good time? It was great. Yes, yeah. It was an amazing time. Yes. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We, I had a great time doing that. Mm -hmm. um, it's always fun going on the, uh, the shopping trip. and um, so a, lot of the, a lot of the skits on there were a lot of fun to do. Yeah, it was It was a lot lot of fun. Yeah. Um, you know, my uh, we had our high school, uh, Sarah and I had our uh, high school 20-year uh, reunion last week, and, and oh, uh, yeah. my sister was there. And she said she saw the uh, video oh. of us, and she thought it was hysterical. So. Oh, awesome. Cool. Props to my sister. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you're watching this, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, it's, um, it was a lot of fun. Very rewarding. And uh, can't wait for, you know, continue on and seeing what comes next. Yep. Got to start getting some holiday uh, ideas in my head for new videos, so I'll be doing that. Mm-hmm. But in the meantime, like I was saying before, so let's go ahead and talk about this song. Uh, this is called Fight the Fight. It's the name of the band. Um, the song is called The Other Side. Uh, the album came out in 2017. So with there not being too much variety on uh, commercial rock radio, um, like there may be with like pop stations or um, hip-hop, R&B, a lot of times plays most of the newer stuff, and you don't get too much of that from rock radio. So let's find out if this would be a good fit for rock radio. So... I'm going to show these guys the uh, music video. We're going to watch it. I'm going to give you guys an introduction to Fight the Fight, a uh, biography on them, and then we'll come back and see what these guys think. Only in their 20s, Fight the Fight has already been a band under a different name for more than a decade. Formed in Norway, they played at all the major festivals in Norway, toured Europe, and received massive praise, among others, from Metal Hammer UK for their phenomenal live performance. During their existence, they played several hundred shows, making them a tight-knit unit that's formed an unbreakable bond within the group. Fight the Fight's debut record is young, fresh, and bursting with energy. Just as you expect from a debut record of a band that has been buzzing around the Norwegian underground for several years. But it is more, much more. It is a mature, well-composed rock metal grenade with hooks, catchphrases, and choruses. It's not your average debut record, with elements of rock, punk, metal, and black metal, woven into unique and progressive sound. Big riffs sitting alongside memorable hooks. Fight the Fight currently has two albums released, 2017's self-titled album and 2020's Deliverance. Hey guys, welcome back. So we just got done watching Fight the Fight, Other Side. Came out in 2017. So, um, first off, uh, I guess, uh, you know, personal opinion, what, what do you guys think about the song? I thought it was, it was, it was different. Tune. It was a it good was tune. interesting. Yeah. Now, okay, second, um, do you think this would fit well on commercial rock radio? I think so. Yeah. I think it could do very I could well. Like, I could definitely hear it, like, on the radio or something, but, you know, it's a shame they didn't get, like... 
any radio yeah. airplay. So yeah, I was I was telling these guys when we were watching the video that they, they kind of remind me of a combination of um, Breaking Benjamin, uh, Deftones, and Seven Dust, kind yeah. of all mixed in. Agree with that. Yeah, mixed in one. But um, yeah, it's kind of a shame because you know again, uh, at least for our local rock radio station, they'll the a lot of the new songs are from like older artists. Mm. Um, maybe the one or two mixed in here and there, but a lot of newer bands don't get recognized. So it's um, so that's why I do the show. They get overshadowed. Yeah, they get overshadowed. They don't really give them a chance. That's why I do the show for stuff that could have been. Because a lot of times, like this band or some others, I hear it and it sounds like it'd be a perfect fit for rock radio. Kind of like in the '90s when they used to play a lot of those alternative bands and you know even industrial rock bands in the '90s. And I remember turning on the radio, I would hear. Uh, Trying to stabbing westward, and you know, um, who says that song? Guilty, John Plain Freeze, uh, Gravity Kills, yeah, yeah, Gravity Kills. Like that stuff was on the radio back in the 90s. Surprised I remember that, yeah. I was like, I know, I know it's guilty, but who sings it? Yeah, Gravity Kills, yeah, they uh, they were on the Mortal Kombat soundtrack too, they were, it they wasn't were that song, it was uh, it was called Enough or something, yeah. Yeah. That was a great soundtrack. Yeah, it was. But, uh, yeah, they used to play a lot of really cool stuff like that on the radio. And uh, not saying the stuff's not cool they're playing now, because they do play some good songs from some of these older artists. But, um, you know, you see a little more variety. A lot more newer bands were on the radio back then. So mm -hmm. that's why I do this show, to show what could have been and, you know, kind of what radio missed. And give other bands a chance at exposure and for new, new fans to check them out and... Get into their music and whatnot. Exactly. Yeah, because uh, you know sometimes if the if it's not there for you to listen, if you don't know about it, you just never know. So sometimes it takes some a advertisement and some, uh, uh, you know, instead of the same old music, yeah, the same old bands over and over again. Yeah, it's like there's there's they're great. Don't get me wrong, but there's more out there. Mm -hmm. So. Like yeah, which we will be talking about on a coming up episode very, very shortly. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, well, we have a lot of work to do. But, yeah, you know, yeah. It's well, maybe not too shortly. Not too shortly. It'll be coming soon. Um, Ray, what kind of uh, music uh, does your band play? Well, uh, the band, first of all, is called Jericho Kane. Um, we haven't really promoted it too much. I mean, there is a Facebook page. Uh, it's Jericho Kane, uh, C-A-N-E. Uh, my bass player Dave Parker came up with the uh, name. Uh, we got it from the movie End of Days with Arnold Schwarzenegger. His character was called Jericho Kane, and he thought it was a great idea to have that as a band name. So, um, so we stuck to it since. Um, we were supposed to get this rolling in 2020, but when the pandemic hit, uh, it kind of set things back, and then. As things were starting to slowly get back to normal uh, in the last year, um, we started getting together more, we started practicing more, and we came across a drummer, and um, we have about eight or nine songs written now, eight or nine songs, and uh, we are planning to go into a studio to record a, if I say this correctly, a four track, they're going to be two separate EPs. One track. Uh, each of them have, I believe, four tracks. If I'm, if I'm correct, uh, but we are planning to go into the studio sometime in the new year, uh, sometime after the holidays, because you know the holidays, you know, we're all with our families and stuff. So, but um, sometime in maybe February or March of 2023, we will be in the studio and. Uh, once, once these, uh, once some of our music is released, uh, we'll start playing shows. But um, nice, yeah. So I, mean, I think like we were having a discussion about like basically um, each week after you know after we get done the recording and everything, mm -hmm. we're going to be releasing a new song each week on uh -huh. social media. We're going to we, we will be having a release date for people to hear. It will be on Spotify, Amazon. Uh, YouTube, uh, Pandora, hopefully Apple Music. Nice. Uh, you know, it's we're gonna be promoting it everywhere. So very excited. And uh, I'm the lead singer and rhythm guitar player in the band. So nice. Very excited for that. Can't wait. 
Uh, like I said, um, as the you know dates approach, I'll definitely be um, talking with the hopefully with the band soon, and uh, maybe get some uh, concert footage in there too for everyone. Yeah, that'd be swell. Yeah, it should be a, it should be great. Looking forward to that. Me too. Yeah, yeah, it should be good. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for this episode of songs that should have been on the radio. And uh, before we leave, like always, um, it's going to be on next month's songs that should have been on the radio. Uh, You're just going to have to wait and find out, guys. Oh, yeah. That's right. You're just going to have to wait. You, yes, you, that's you, sitting right behind your audience. computer or on your phone, you are just going to have to wait and find out. Ah! That's it. You're just going to have to wait. All right, guys. Until next time. Adios. Adios. Sorry, I had too much coffee. <laughs> <laughs>